today I'll be doing a video um, how to use rumps discreetly. I, I've seen a few videos with this name and every single one of them is not how I would perceive using rumps discreetly. It's like hiding them from your parents, but using rumps discreetly to me because I don't think you should ever hide using rumps from your parents or guardians, whoever it is in your life you're hiding it from. Because it's, it's an important thing to tell them that you're buying them so you actually can get their interest in it, in it and possibly even support you and maybe even get you some. So I'll be discussing how to use rumps discreetly around friends and maybe if you don't want to tell them about you using rumps, how you should either address that or be discreet about it. Um, because some friends aren't going to be as accepting as others. I think you should totally tell your friends if you think they're going to accept that and be okay with it. Brenda's my really only close friend. I have a lot of other friends that like, um, but none that are as close as Brynn. None that I actually really go to their houses or hang out, so it's not a big deal for me, um, to tell them. So, I have ever, never even told my use reusables because that conversation has never come up. We're not that close. So, I have talked to one friend about reusables, and she knows I use reusables, but she doesn't know about this channel because I just don't know how she should respond to that, and we're kind of, we're not the closest of friends, and I don't want to lose her friendship, so I'll probably bring it up sometime because I think it's important that she know about it, but I just haven't gotten around to telling her that. So, enough of my ranting there. <laughs> um, so, when you're at your friend's house, and you have your period, and you don't want to tell them about reusables, what you need to do is plan out how heavy your flow is. So let's say you're a moderate bleeder, so that you know it's kind of in the middle, um, and you're being there for two nights, let's just say. So you're going to need two overnight pads. This one's a little heavier, a little bit lighter. They're about the same though. And that'll last you your two nights. So you have your two overnight pads. And let's say you go through five pads a day, just moderate flow ones. So I'm going to grab, um, and you're there for two days, so you're going to need, let's say around eight moderate flow pads, because you're there for like a day and a half, you know, until you go home. So, we'll just say eight. So this is an Essence of Eve moderate. I'm going to grab one of my own moderate, so that's two. Uh, let's see here. Here's one of my own moderates as well, so that's three. Here's a lighter to moderate, so, um... That's four. Here is um, another Essence of Eve moderate. And so let's, you have um, four, no, sorry, five. Five moderates here. Let's say now some lights. Um, oh, where'd they go? Okay. Here's a panty liner. So let's say if you use a menstrual cup one day, uh, let's just say you use a new cup. Um, uh, this pair is it with. So you wear this one day, because maybe you're going swimming or something like that. So you have that. And then, this is actually, here's another light flow. And this, we need one more light flow. So, uh, Precious Sharp Pad Liner. Light flow, I use as a light flow. So, this is all you're going to need when you're at your friend's house. Now it's good to maybe bring um, a spare moderate and perhaps another... Um, Bear, uh, liner just to be safe. So right here I have a menstrual cup and a liner. I have one, two, three, four, five, and I have five moderates. I'm sorry, six moderates. And one, two, three, four, four like light flows. And of course one paint liner. And that's really all you're probably gonna need. That would just be for me, though, so you need to plan out for your cycle. Don't just bring what I brought because you need to know, are you a heavy bleeder, a light bleeder, so on and so forth, and just plan how you, how much you bleed um, throughout the day. So I think it's a great idea to bring menstru menstrual cups because they're really discreet. Um, if you change in front of your friends, like you are going swimming or something like that, you probably want to have a menstrual cup. Um, instead of having to use like a tampon, just because you can see a string, um, and if you're using like cloth tampons, um, reusable tampons, then they might wonder, that looks like it's knit, like that's weird, they might ask you. 
Cement cloths are really discreet. I would recommend using one if you have one. If you don't, then cloth pads are fine. Just be a little more discreet and make sure they don't show out of your underwear. And maybe bring your like thinnest, like candy cloth creations, or on your flow, or something that's thin. All right. So now that you have all your pads, you definitely want to going to bring your um, wet bag. This is my Planet Wise wet bag. It has a cute little keychain. We have a video on how to make these if you want to check that out. I had to make a cloth pad keychain. But anyways, uh, so this is a small wet bag, but I don't need a lot of pads when I go out because I use menstrual cups most all the time unless I'm really crampy. And then I would just bring enough to last me two days just in case I couldn't use them at all. So it's a good idea to do that um, unless you know your menstrual cups will work for you. And this is just, it's lined with a waterproof, I think it's PO, but it doesn't really feel like it, so I don't know if it's PO, but whatever, it's waterproof, and it works really well. So you definitely want to have your wet bag, because you need to store your pads in them. Once you wear this one night, you got to fold this up with a soiled fold, like this, and then pop it in your wet bag, because you need to have a place to store them once they're dirty, until you go home and wash them. So you need a wet bag. If you don't have a wet bag, then a really high quality plastic bag, like a really nice store, um, like not one of the cheapy like stock and shop bags, but I'm talking about like the thick plastic ones that look like paper ones, but they're plastic. I like that. So what you might need um, to bring is a stain remover. If you're really paranoid about stains, then you're gonna bring your stain remover. If not, you can do it when you get home, and they should probably come out just fine. But I don't bring a stain remover because I don't really care about stains. And even when I do come home, it's fine. So, getting to them from the bathroom. You can bring something like this. These are both waterproof bags. This is a little cuter. This is more basic. Um, these could both be little toiletry bags. This actually is a toiletry bag. And this is actually a pencil case. But they're both waterproof. And they both work just as well. So, what you're going to do, let's say you use this one. And... No one's going to ask if this is why you use toothbrush, you know? And just bring this in every time you go to the bathroom so it looks like you're bringing your toothbrush or something like that. Um, so let's say you're going to change your pad and you've had on your Essence of Eve and you're going to put on your Precious Star pad. So you're wearing this one and so you go to the bathroom but you have, you take your Precious Star pads that you're going to change into Fold it up, or you can just cram it in there. You don't really have to fold it if you didn't want to. So just fold that up and just put it in here, along with maybe a wipe, just in case. So those are not a wipe, that's a cup spot. Looks so similar from a, you know, glancing. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I can't see my wipes, but no, no, here it is. Um, maybe a wipe, just in case. And I do have a mini tie, tie stick, stand remover, if you want to bring that. But I can't, the life of me, find it, but whatever. You know, it's all just a mess here. <laughs> um, so, you can even put, uh, if you don't have a, if this isn't a waterproof bag, then you can bring a pad wrapper. And this is just like a disposal pad wrapper, only it's made of PUL, and it's reusable. And it's a really cute print. So you can bring that in your bag. Um, even though this is waterproof, if you have like a really wet pad, you may want to just have one of these in your bag. And it's always a good idea, in case you um, underestimated how heavy maybe you're breathing, to just say your menstrual cup, put that in there too, or uh, maybe another moderate flow pad, or something like that, just in case it's not as light or as heavy as you thought it would be. So then you're in the bathroom, and you take out your pad, and you use the soiled fold, this one, whatever, we'll do one of these. You fold that up, and then you're going to put this, in your pad wrapper or just directly in your bag. Pad wrapper is just more sanitary so it doesn't get all over your bag and um, over any of the stuff you may have in there so just put that in your little pad wrapper. And then you're just going to put it in here. So you dump that and you can take out your new pad, put that on, go to the bathroom, whatever you want to do in the bathroom and, and you're good and then you just go back to your bedroom or wherever you're staying. Take this out and just discreetly, quickly pop it in. And you can have this bag um, in your suitcase, or if you have your own bedroom, at a friend's house, I do. I luckily get their spare bedroom. Uh, 
and I, I would just be able to have this out. But don't close it all the way. Keep it open to the air, or else they can smell. So just, even if you just leave a little bit open, try and just kind of lean it against your bag. And you can get really, really cute um, wet bags and really adorable patterns, so they look really cute. Mine was a fluke. I accidentally bought it as a one-click buy on Amazon. So I didn't get to choose the pattern. I did want this wet bag. I just didn't want this pattern. But, you know, oh, I at least have a wet bag, right? So, don't make that mistake. <laughs> I didn't even know I clicked it. So, it's really, really easy to be discreet using these. Uh, unless you have really nosy friends who are going through your suitcase and they're asking, hey, what's that? You know, and then you may want to tell them or just say, hey, that's private. Please don't look through that. And if they're really good friends, they should either say, okay, I get that, or all right, you know, I'm fine with that. Or they may get really nice and be like, well, tell me, I want to know what it is. And then if they really want to know, just tell them. You know, you probably will end up telling them sometime sooner or later. Uh, so it's also not just, just telling them because they're really annoying, but don't you want the best for them and to hear about this if they're girlfriends? not guy friends, <laughs> then you probably want them to know about this because it is such an amazing product. So, let's say you've had all your wet pads and it's the end of your stay at your friend's house. Boo hoo, I'm not going to bother to fold them all up, but let's say they're all in there and such. And you just have these two pads left, we'll say. So you're good. You made it through the entire time and Right before you go home, maybe it's a long drive, you can pop in another pad, and then you have all your pads in here. And see, you may need a bigger bag, it doesn't depend on how many pads you use and how long your friends have for. But it's really not that difficult. Now, if you do um, want to stain treat your pads with like this, you can either put it in a smaller bottle, um, and then in the bathroom, when you're in the bathroom, have a little tiny bit of it in your little bag, not in the bag, but in a little container in the bag so you can quickly rub out your pad and rinse out your pad. That's another thing I didn't mention. Um, I do rinse my pad, so once I took off my pad, um, let me just get out the pad to pretend to use. Once I had taken off my pad, what I would have done is gone under the faucet, rubbed it, and cleaned it so that there is no excess um, menstrual fluid on there. And then I would have taken my Echover, because I'm not hiding from my friend um, that I use reusables. But I probably wouldn't have brought this huge container with me. So I probably would just have this in a little tiny squirt bottle or something like that, with a little bit of water mixed in it maybe. And then just rubbing on my pad just to clean it off. And then I would have just folded it, snapped it, and put it in its little pad wrapper, and then put away my bag once I left the bathroom. So, you know... I don't know about you, my friends aren't that observant, so they probably wouldn't even notice I'm using reusables, and they wouldn't even care, because if you're closer to them, they probably know you have your period. So it'd be the same thing as using disposables. You're in the bathroom a little bit longer, and you have a little container in your hand, or like a disposable, usually I would just have carried a little. Even when I used disposables, I carried this into the bathroom with my disposables in it. So it probably won't be any different to them if they don't even know you have your period. Um, like they're younger than you, or you're just not that close with them, then you can even, last resort, like they're really nosy, maybe a big, big family, you can take your pad, put it in a pad wrapper. This is if you really want to be discreet, like I'm telling you, really discreet. Put it in your pad wrapper and just like stuff this in your pocket or like under your sleeve, I don't have a long sleeve in, or under your shirt, something like that. And then when you get into the bathroom, take out your pad, put it in here, and then swap them out and put this in your underwear. And that's, that's really discreet, but I like to, I'm not that <laughs> over the top. But my friend does have a brother, so, you know, he's not nosy, but I just don't really care to see him have him see me carrying um, my disposable just in my hands, like, oh my god, pad. <laughs> so, that is how to use reusables discreetly. If you have any more questions, please let me know. If you have any questions about any of these products, like pads, staining weavers, uh, menstrual cups, if you have any, any questions about those in general or just an actual like cup that we see to review on, just let me know. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check out other videos. Bye!